Black holes are one of the biggest mysteries of the universe. A place that absorbs everything around it, where even light cannot escape, where our perception of time does not mean anything there. Yes, black holes are equally as dangerous as they are fascinating. They give rise to a multitude of theories, myths, and other considerations. This is why astronomers, physicists, and astrophysicists all over the world are interested in this research. They want to bring light into the darkness, so to speak. Not long ago, scientists made an enormous discovery, the closest black hole to Earth. Coming up, we will take a look at this fantastic discovery. What is so special about this particular black hole? And we have additional fascinating explanations and facts all about black holes just for you. If you like our videos, please support us with a thumbs up, subscribe to Simply Space, and stay tuned for the videos we have in store for you. Let's begin our journey through our vast universe. Astronomers discover a black hole only 1,000 light years away from Earth. Astronomers from the European Southern Observatory, or ESO, have unintentionally discovered a black hole from an observatory in Chile. Originally, the researchers had wanted to study a double star system called HR 6819. Double stars are so close together that they are believed to be connected by gravity. Sometimes they appear as a single star in the sky but the double star system HR 6819 turned out to actually be a triple star system. The third component of this triple star system? A black hole. With a distance of 1,000 light years, this system is so close to the Earth that the companion stars can be seen with the bare eye from the southern hemisphere when the sky is clear. In contrast to other black holes, which can be recognized by their aggressive interaction with their surroundings and the release of X-rays, the newly discovered black hole behaves strangely calm. How can scientists even discover a calm black hole? The companion stars may be visible to the bare eye, but of course, the black hole itself is not. So then how do scientists know that they are dealing with a black hole? The ESO team first noticed that one of the two companion stars was moving around an invisible object. The scientists were able to calculate the mass of this object by taking into account the speed of the stars so they discovered that it is an object with a mass of four solar masses. According to the scientists, such a large mass in such a small space only leads to one conclusion. It must be a black hole. The fact that a black hole constantly devours its surroundings is a myth that can be proven wrong by the existence of such black holes. Basically, a black hole behaves like a star. The gravitational force of a black hole is limited, so to speak. Outside of its field, stars and planets can exist, the distance is big enough that the Earth would continue to orbit around the Sun even if it collapsed into a black hole. Of course, however, that would suggest fatal consequences for life on Earth. What insights does the closest black hole provide? The discovery of the closest black hole to Earth by scientists is like winning the lottery. Its mere existence gives rise to the assumption that many more black holes could exist within our galaxy. The discovery of such a triple system shows scientists new ways that they can find black holes. For example, there is another known stellar constellation that could turn out to be a triple system. The system called LB1 is only a little further away from Earth than HR 6819. Since only a few dozen black holes have been identified in our galaxy so far, each new black hole found in the Milky Way is an incredible discovery for astronomers and physicists alike. The closest black hole could pave the way for the discovery of many more phenomena in our galaxy. What exactly is a black hole? Black holes are determined by their mass, but this is not related to their actual size. They are characterized by their exceptional gravitational pull. The gravitational force is so strong that everything that gets close is sucked up by its force. Even light cannot escape its gravitational pull. This condensed form is referred to as singularity. This describes a state where gravity is so strong that even space-time does not function according to the established rules. This means the one-dimensional description of time in combination with our three-dimensional space cannot be flawlessly applied to black holes. A black hole is therefore not a component of the time-space continuum. Simply put, there is a curvature at the edge of a black hole, which ensures that light is bent and driven into a circular path, 
so that it can no longer escape to the outside. How are black holes created? A black hole is not a black hole. They are divided into different categories based on their size and formation. The most common category of black holes are known as stellar black holes. These are created when a star and its inner core collapses, creating extremely dense matter. The resulting tiny object has such an unimaginably high density that it fulfills the criteria of singularity. The edges of such an object, beyond which nothing can escape, are referred to as event horizon. Stellar black holes have a mass ranging from a few to a few dozen solar masses. Supermassive black holes are the giants of the universe. The Boeing under black holes are those that are so heavy that they are referred to as supermassive black holes. Such a classification is awarded to a black hole once it has grown to the size of one million solar masses. Even in the middle of our galaxy, a supermassive black hole can be spotted. It is called Sagittarius A. This black hole in the Milky Way possesses a mass of 3.6 million solar masses. The development of such black holes has yet to be explained. It is perceivable that it requires several black holes to merge to form such a supermassive black hole. Similarly unexplained are medium-sized black holes containing a mass of hundreds to thousands of solar masses. Indications could only be found so far in star clusters and dwarf galaxies. This is why scientists assume that such black holes could have been created by colliding stars. There is a picture of a particularly large black hole. Scientists from the Event Horizon Telescope have already successfully taken a picture of a black hole. The Event Horizon Telescope is a research association that has put up radio telescopes all over the world to enable better recordings. The picture shows bright, oval, yellow-red shapes on a black background. However, the black hole itself cannot be seen as light cannot escape it. But despite its enormous gravitational pull, there is extremely hot matter that is not sucked up by black holes, but repelled by them with incredible speed. In other words, it bounces off of the Event Horizon Telescope. This process is responsible for the visible bright shapes that can be seen in the picture. This supermassive black hole is 5 billion light years away from Earth. Based on the observation, scientists were able to take a look at the universe, which confirmed previous merely theoretical scientific concepts. What would happen if you were to come close to a black hole? Black holes are too far away for humans to get anywhere near them. Nevertheless, theories exist how a human would perceive the inside of a black hole, at least for the short period of time it would take to tear a human apart. We know that black holes can eradicate stars within seconds. Therefore, our mass would be inevitably sucked up, squeezed, and stretched. That's to say, we would be torn apart. The same thing occurs with stars, but for a split second, it would be conceivable that your perception of space and time changes. Some believe that this split second could seem to last an eternity. Black holes could be the reason for the formation of galaxies. But that doesn't mean black holes have nothing to do with us. Because even if you can't get inside a black hole yourself, your very existence could be the result of the existence of black holes. Some researchers assume that the suction and centrifugal effect of black holes creates new star systems. Several galaxies have a supermassive black hole in their center. Scientists therefore believe in a correlation between black holes and galaxies of which make up their center. Even the Milky Way could have originated from a black hole. However, this assumption has not been scientifically confirmed yet. Whether black holes cause galaxies or galaxies cause black holes is therefore one of the most exciting questions for astronomers and physicists alike. Record-breaking black holes Scientists have spotted the biggest currently discovered black hole in a galaxy cluster called Abel 85. It contains the galaxy Holm 15. This is where scientists have analyzed the movement of stars around a suspiciously dark core. They concluded that the black hole must have a mass of around 40 billion stars. The most distant black hole is 13 billion light years away from Earth. That means it must have been created about 700 million years after the Big Bang. This puzzles researchers enormously because the formation of a black hole indicates the existence of stars. However, how these stars progress so far in such a short amount of time after the Big Bang as to enable the creation of a black hole remains unclear. Black holes will keep us busy for a long time. In order to find the answers to these and similar questions, 
scientists around the world will continue to try to discover new black holes and conduct further research on the already discovered ones. The origin of the universe, the shape of galaxies, and even the origins of our planet may perhaps be finally explained. Black holes are therefore one of the most exciting and fascinating topics within the scientific community. What do you think? Are you also enthusiastic about following developments of research on black holes? Or is it too far from the reality of your own life? We are looking forward to hearing your opinion in the comments section below. Do you have other interesting facts about black holes to share? Write to us what you know about black holes or what you are interested in finding out next.